the Uganda Special Forces form one of the most battle-hardened commando units in the region, courtesy of its experience in battles in northern Uganda, Somalia, and Democratic Republic of Congo, among others. It is now common knowledge within the UPDF that it is the Special Forces that planned and executed the Somalia mission that has stabilized the country after decades of instability. President Yoweri Museveni has applauded the Special Forces for accomplishing their assignments. This was during the pass-out ceremony of 110 UPDF commandos at Butiaba Marines Training School in Bulisa District. I congratulate the young fighters for finishing this very tough course. You have heard that they started 280 who were selected. They were selected. But only 110 have finished. This is because it is a very tough course. Very tough. I mean, it's tough, but this is tougher. And because of that, it creates a capacity within a capacity. The army has, has got big capacity, the army. But special forces create a special capacity of especially operating in small units. He said that it is because of their special operations that Allied Democratic Forces, ADF, was completely defeated in 2007, as well as the Al-Shabaab militants in Mogadishu. <laughs> the president said that they did a fantastic job when they went to Mogadishu and helped to defeat Al-Shabaab from the Somali city. The commander-in-chief pledged his continued support in as far as building capacity and professionalizing the forces is concerned. The Special Forces Qualification Course is designed to achieve special operations capabilities for envisioned combat operational requirements to conduct special operations. President Museveni presented awards to the best students including Private Okwiboni, Lieutenant Robert Sematwa, and Private Herrera Gideon for their outstanding performance in different disciplines. The Minister of State for Defense in charge of general duties, Charles Okello, commended the commandos for completing the course and asked them to carry the mantle with pride. The Chief of Defense Forces, General David Mohosi, said the demonstration exercise was a testimony that the trainees had got necessary skills to perform duties of special operations under any conditions. A lot has gone on, a lot is going on in terms of force generation and skills and proficiency improvement. We are eternally grateful to you, Your Excellency. I want to thank you for gracing this occasion and your timely and consistent attention to all the details of the UPDF. He thanked the Commander-in-Chief for his continued support in his effort to professionalize the forces. The Commander Special Forces Command, Major General James Virunji, said that the SFC has steadily grown in both quality and quantity. He saluted the President for his support and strategic guidance in building the capacity of the forces. Those in attendance included Commander Land Forces, Lieutenant General Peter Ereru, Commander Air Forces, Lieutenant General Charles Lutaya, Chief of Staff, Major General Leopold Chanda, Senior Officers of the UPDF, political and other local leaders from Bulisa District. Priscilla Namara reporting. <laughs>